Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today my video is all about a follow-up video from my last. My last video was fashion trends for this year, spring and summer 2018. This is a requested video. The request is from one of my loyal subscribers. Her name is Kelly and she has been um, with me since day one. I really appreciate you, Kelly. One of the trends that I'm going to be doing for sure is headbands. I love headbands. I don't like doing my hair. I am lazy with my hair. I would rather do my makeup and put my outfit together than my hair. So the headband trend is definitely for me. The next trend I love and plan on doing for myself is little sunglasses. I love little tiny sunglasses. I didn't think I would be interested in this trend. I thought forever I'm going to be the 70s style, big giant sunglasses, the bigger the better. But I do like the little sunglasses. I feel like it's really different and it's very um, street chic and I like that. The glasses that I got were $5. I do like designer pieces. I do like high-end pieces. I love good quality clothing and, and amazing tailoring, but I have no problem going and getting a pair of sunglasses that are $5. If I like them, I don't care who makes them. I don't care if it's from Forever 21 or some tiny little sunglass set up on the streets. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. If I like something, I get it and it's not always designer. Okay, the next trend I love and plan on doing, and I didn't mention this in my video, it's so mainstream now. A lot of people are aware of this trend, but not only is it the high waist trend, which I have to do because I love it. It doesn't cut me off anymore. My whole butt can fit into a pair of jeans and that's my goal when your whole butt is in your jeans and you're not like muffin top. I don't care how skinny you are, low-waisted, low-rise jeans made everyone have a muffin top. It was obnoxious. So I love a high-waisted denim, but it's not just that. It's high waist with a step hem where the top of the denim is cut in a step. I really, really love that and I love all the details this year. The bottom of the jean of the denim is cut off. So I literally went through all my denim and cut the bottoms off. It's, I like like a frayed end. I like sometimes where the denim, it comes much above the ankle, like a two or three inches above the ankle. A lot of different hems on jeans that are really undone, really messy, and I do like that. So that is a trend I'm gonna be doing. I started doing it a little bit last year and then I literally cut all the bottoms off my denim. Okay guys, another trend I love that I'm gonna be doing all spring, all summer, all winter is a jumpsuit. This jumpsuit is kind of two trends in one. So it's the check, which we all know about, but it's also the jumpsuit. I love the frills that go over the shoulders. I think it's very feminine. I wore this, what did I wear this with? I think I wore it with a bodysuit, which kept it really beautiful and just um, streamlined. But I do love a jumpsuit. This is from Zara. It was not expensive. It's got really wide bottoms, like the uh, legs are really wide. It was not expensive. I will insert a picture of how I styled this. I really went all in. <laughs> I really put everything I could with this jumpsuit. I was really feeling it. I think I even wore a hat with it, but I love jumpsuits. I'm gonna show all the jumpsuits I'm obsessed with right now and I'm looking at. Okay, another trend I'm obsessed with is ribbons and string detail on everything. There are a few items that I'm watching and I haven't quite pulled the trigger yet, but I do love that trend. And I do think it's feminine. I do think it's different. I love it. Okay, another trend I'm gonna do this year that I love, love, love is lavender. I don't have a lot of lavender pieces in my wardrobe, but I do love the color and it does feel fresh. There's a blouse from Tibby I'm stocking right now. I'm waiting for some kind of a discount or some kind of a promotion. It has a lot of movement. It's very feminine. It's very striking, but I will be doing lavender this year. I don't have a lot of lavender pieces right now, so I'm just kind of looking for something to really catch my eye. If you don't like lavender or you don't want to do lavender like in your wardrobe as a, a statement piece, you can always do just a pair of earrings. These are from Express. They are very affordable. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up the lavender bottom, but it has different shades of lavender. This is the fringe trend, so it's like two for one. 
Okay guys, another trend I'm gonna be doing is the kitten heel. I love the kitten heel, of course. I didn't like it a couple years ago when it started to, we, sh we started to see it just a tiny bit. I was like, no, I'm a, a four inch girl for life. <laughs> I'm a stiletto girl for life. I'm a wedge girl for life. Notice how we never see wedges anymore. Like they're just dead. No one's buying wedges. Of course, Louboutin showed one or two wedges in their collection, but generally we're not seeing any wedge shoes right now, high heels anyway. But I do like the kitten heel and we know we're in a movement of flat shoes. So if you have feet problems, this is awesome for you. But I do like the kitten heel. Zara has so many cute kitten heels right now. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money on this trend, look at Zara. They're cute and a lot of their shoes do not look inexpensive. They don't look cheap, they look nice. And let's be honest, if you're only gonna wear it for a season, it's not much of an investment. Honestly, I think <laughs> with my list and paperwork of trends, it probably would have been easier to do what I'm not gonna be doing, the trends I won't be doing, because I like to do everything. I do, I, I love fashion, I love styling, I love to try things I'm uncomfortable with, or things that I just, I'm not sure about. I love to be pushed out of my comfort zone, so it's maybe <laughs> better for me to do what I'm not gonna be, a trend I'm not gonna be doing. I don't think I'm gonna be doing the logos. I just don't. Um, I don't know. I I don't have to own a Gucci shirt that says Gucci. I do like designer pieces and I do like quality. I do like an amazing handbag, amazing pair of shoes, but I just, I know it's fun. I know it's youthful. I know it's very trendy, but I don't think that's a trend I'm going to be doing. Like a, you know, the Louis Vuitton logo scarf and, you know, I do have bits of logo scarves. I guess that's where it's at for me. If I'm going to be doing a logo piece, I think it it might be in a small accessory. Hang on, I'll show you another one. Okay, here's another logo piece. It's a Fendi. It has the F cell over it. You know, the Fendi logo scarf. I bought this probably two years ago. Logos weren't even on trend, but I just like the color, obviously. You know, I do like a lime green. <laughs> I just don't think I'm gonna be doing the logo trend. That being said, I might turn around and do it. I don't know, like sometimes I'm just one way and then I see something and it's very inspiring, so I'll go another way. I did not like the sock boot trend this past season. Then Giuseppe Zanotti did the sock boot in that hot um, neon pink for spring and now I like it and it's not so heavy where it's the full boot that is the sock over the ankle and above the ankle and then the toe box is open so sometimes you think you're not going to do something then a designer does it a different way and it inspires you and you change your mind of course I'm going to be doing the satin trend I love satin and I know Kelly said that she's super excited about the satin trend and I am too I do like it it's very feminine the scarf, you know, obviously is satin. Just be careful with satin. Um, you wanna look for a quality piece. It can be satin and silk, but you wanna make sure it's not too, too shiny. Then it can look a little bit cheap. So go with a satin trend, but not like ultra, ultra shiny. All designers showed satin and it feels new. So I'm excited about it. There is a pair of shorts from Self Portrait I'm obsessed with. I will be getting them. They're high-waisted, they're stripes, they're feminine, they're sexy. I feel like I can wear them a million different ways. So I do love the satin trend. And there's a few pieces I'm stocking, which I'll show you. Okay, another trend that I, I think I'm gonna be doing because I already own pieces <laughs> is the fringe trend. Um, these are Giuseppe Zanotti. I do like fringe. I don't have to have everything fringe, although I do like the pants. Zara had a pair of pants. I'm not sure if they're still on their website. They were high-waisted. The whole pant was in fringe. and had a lot of movement. They're in black. I was stocking them for a while. I don't know if they still have them. But you can always just do a little bit of your accessories. If you're not a girl that wants to do a big fringe dress or a big fringe blouse or pants, it's too much for you, just do it in your accessories. This is a poochie scarf where the fringe is just in the bottom. So you're doing the trend, but it's not too much. It's not 
you know, overdone and it's not going to take over your outfit. And okay, I do love the set dressing trend. I really do. There are some sets I'm obsessing over. There's one from Lover and Friends. It's stripes, so we know stripes are everything this year. And then it's a set because the top is really cute and it has a matching bottom. I do like sets. I think it's cute. I think it's fun. It's definitely fresh. It's easy because you don't have to think about the two pieces being cohesive or matching, meaning the top and the bottom, it's done for you. So I really love that idea. I love that I plan on doing is the PVC clear Lucite trend, the see-through trend, the see-through bags, shoes, accessories. I love this. I think it's fresh. We have seen it before in years past, but something goes away, then it comes back and we like it again. We feel like it's fresh, especially if you haven't seen it for a minute. So this is a necklace I've had for years clear necklace it is in um, glass beads but it looks like loose side of course it's clear this would be great over a casual t-shirt just like a white t-shirt printed t-shirt maybe a t-shirt with a saying because it's really really dressy and what I like to do is put something really really dressy with a piece that's very casual and I like the contrast of that I like that it's kind of breaking the rules a little bit. I like to put it with casual pieces, even like a logo t-shirt, this necklace piece, a pair of jean shorts ripped, and maybe like a little kitten heel, It's and a denim jacket. Like I like to build an outfit that isn't exactly what you would think it would be. I will be doing this trend, I like it. I will not be spending a lot of money on this trend. This is not a trend where I'm gonna go and buy the, uh, you know, the it Chanel bag this year. And because in my opinion, you know, it is plastic, it's PVC, it's, it's lucite, it, it's not an expensive leather or it's not an expensive material. So I don't want to spend a lot of money on this trend and pieces don't really hold up. Let me show you. Here is a pair of Louboutins. I've had them for years and years and years. Louboutin has been using plastic and PVC on their shoes just little bits every season for years the plastic doesn't hold up very well it seems to get stained and it seems to like see how it kind of I, I don't know if the camera these shoes are not clean obviously they're really heavily worn but it really gets smoky looking it really gets dirty looking so it is not like it's not a material that holds up really well so my advice to anyone out there that likes this trend is to do the trend, but don't spend a lot of money on the trend because the material will not hold up in your wardrobe. Love the petite bag trend. I will be doing it. I have been doing it. I'm going to keep on doing it. And I do like the idea that the petite bags are not just in a clutch. I'm kind of tired of the clutch style, the long rectangle style. It, it feels very dated. It feels old. It feels um, stale to me. So I do like a different shape. So this is a petite bag. This is from Henry Bendel. This bag was not expensive. This bag was very affordable. It's all leather. Uh, the chain, I've had it for at least maybe seven months. The chain has not changed and has not tarnished in any way. It is held up. I have not been special. I've not been nice to it. I've not, you know, treated it with kit gloves basically but I like the shape it feels modern I do like a little bag I will be getting a bucket bag a tiny little bucket bag I do like the little bags I think the bucket bag is fresh now because it has a handle and a chain I'll show you options that I'm obsessing over but I do like that so I will be doing the little bag trend Another trend I want to do is the utility pant I am having a really hard time finding a utility pant that I love. I am looking for something in satin specifically. I do. Okay, another trend I love. I mean, I love all the trends, so I do appreciate, you know, you guys asking me. And maybe it's just better to hear personally what I want to do and personally what I'm stocking. But I do love plaid. And so I am looking for plaid pieces more than just the jumpsuit, plaid with color. Uh, in pinks and purples and lavender so I do love plaid and am looking for some plaid pieces. Hey guys I hope that was some good insight into what I'm looking for, what I'm stocking, why I like things, why I'm going to spend money on one thing and maybe not another. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bell below so you are notified as soon as I do a video. Um, for outfits of the day go check out my Instagram. I am posting every two days on my Instagram um, outfits of the day. 
Okay, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. Bye.